Hello, this is DHD, and today I'm going to go through how to pressure people with Mukava and get into the throw game. If you try to throw someone uh, in or directly after block stun or hit stun, you will get what's called a yellow throw, which looks like that. You see the yellow rings? That means that they have a larger tech window, meaning that they have more time to react to the throw and tech it. You don't want that. You want to hit, throw them after the hit stun, box stun, or the short duration after has ended, so you get the neutral throw. Now understand that in this game, blocking is one of your most potent tools. It will let you not get hit, it will let you react to what the opponent is doing, and it will let you see your opponent's habits as they're trying to pressure you. So we don't want that. We want to keep the pressure as minimal as possible and still be able to mix up with throw. Uh, so first of all you want to know which moves you want to use to go into throw. So what you want here is a move that has very little disadvantage on block, meaning that it's somewhere around minus four to zero. What this means is that the opponent will have less time to react to the fact that the string is ending. So 5a is minus 3, that means that they have very little time in between the 5a and the throw to react to the fact that the string is ending, because you're going to mix this up with frame traps. So 5a frame traps into 5aa smart steer, which is a 4b, so just pressing 5aa gives you this, which is a natural frame trap. If you use this a lot, maybe from 2c 5aa, really common. If they press buttons there, you will get a combo. So that's what you want. So the opponent is going to try to not give you the combo, meaning they'll just block it or respect it. The reason uh, frame trap is so important here is because that's how you uh, condition someone into not pressing buttons after your move. So you have four moves that you can use for throws. That would be 5a, 2a, 66b, and 623a. All of those create frame traps uh, if you use some moves after. 5a would be 5aa or 5a2c. So like that or like that. 2a goes into 5c and 2c. So like, like that or like that. 66b leads into 623a, which can also be tight if you use one hit. Uh, 623a is a special case because it doesn't necessarily create frame traps, but it is plus. So you're plus one, meaning that if she had pressed a 6 frame move to counter my 6 frame move 2a, uh, I would have won that situation. So it works kind of like a frame trap, but you have to treat it somewhat differently. So what we want to do is create frame traps and use the threat of that frame trap to create a situation where we instead can go for throw. Let's say you did 5a in throw, you did this. The opponent is now thinking about the fact that you might go for that again. This is exactly what we want. Just doing a string with a couple of frame traps and then staying safe, you can do... and then just block. What this will show you is what they would do if you went for another throw. Maybe you go for another string like this. And then just block. If they throw you here, that means that they tried to take a throw. And that means that you're in their head and you can start playing your game again. If they did nothing here, they were reacting to your throw. And that means you have to take actions to make your throws more unpredictable. You could do this by um, doing a bit longer strings into moves that are still very close to um, zero on frame advantage. So you could do like, like that. It's a bit more unpredictable. You can still go for the throw from the 5AA and uh, they have to react to it in a different way than they were before. Okay, 
let's say you have done an amazing job of throwing your opponent. But, even though you have gotten in, you've gotten the throw, they have checked every single throw that you've thrown at them. This could be one of two things. Either they are reacting like gods and just taking everything on reaction. This is unlikely. Uh, the second alternative is that they're using some sort of option select, meaning they are trying to uh, read that you're going for a throw or something else and they're doing one input that beats both the throw and whatever else you were doing. Let me show you what that means. That was not me reacting to a throw. This is not me reacting to a throw either. There was no reaction in there. Let me show you what I'm doing. See my inputs? I'm not actually throwing her. I'm doing other things. So, what these are are OS's. I'm not reacting to her actually throwing me, I'm reacting to her coming into range where she could have thrown me. Waiting for a bit and then pressing an action that means that I'm going to be both throw and something else. So my 3C into AD will be her assault, which would have beaten if I just tried to take it. So I would have beaten assault with 3C and I would have beaten throw with the AD coming shortly after. Uh, if this is what your opponent is doing to take all your throws, you're in luck, because you can beat this. One thing that you can do against this is frame traps. So if you see people taking everything, most commonly you'd go for uh, create the situation and then put her in block stun again. So let's say I did that. If she had tried to buffer an OS during my second 5A, my 2C would have come out and hit whatever move she was trying to do. So you do 2C 5A to create the situation, you dash up to uh, telegraph the throw, then you do 5A into a low. The last one you can use is uh, TRM, or a throw reject miss. This uh, if you don't know how to deal with her OS, maybe she's doing some funky stuff that you don't know how to deal with, you can put her in block stun and throw her out of block stun and still get the throw 100%. It works like this. If I put her in block stun and she buffers anything that has to do with teching, and then I keep her in block stun with another move, alternatively put them in a lot of block stun and then throw her, that will create a throw reject miss, which means she will have a yellow throw, like that, and, and glow red as if counter hit. And TRM is untackable, but it is also very low damage. So it looks like this. That would have uh, TRM'd her if she had tried to buffer anything out of the second 5A. If you do this and they're just reacting, they'll just take it and be an advantage. So this is your last option. But you can actually see this if you see top players play against each other. They'll uh, try to bait out the OS's and get the TRM instead, because you get the knockdown, you get the advantage. It's still good, it's just not all that much damage. Optimally, you want to go for the frame traps, go for the big combo. So, some final thoughts. Remember that you're not throwing to get the damage done. You're throwing to force your opponent to take actions against your throw. If that doesn't make sense, think about how much damage you get from a throw and how much damage you get from a combo. A throw, in a best case scenario, will get you 2000 damage maybe. A simple 2A, 2A combo will get you 2000, 2500 at least. So if you get them trying to act upon you throwing them, that means that they're not blocking, and that means that you can get combos on them. So, let's conclude this. 
And Merkava's four throw moves would be 5A, 2A, 6XB, and 623A. They are good because they are very close to being neutral in frame advantage, and you can go from for frame traps from them. Frame traps are used to keep people from pressing moves when you want to go for throws. So if they press the move in between there, they would win. But if they press the move in between there, you would get a counter hit and a combo. So they want they don't want that, which lets you go for throws. If people are just uh, blocking everything you do and taking all the throws, you need to check are they using OSs. You can do this by doing a move into lows. You can do this by doing move into running up and then doing that. And you can do this by just uh, resetting pressure and going for frame traps. If they're still not being beaten by that, you can go for TRMs. Uh, Merkava has a couple of TRMs. He has 5A, 2A throw. He has 2A, 2A throw, which means one hit on both, like that. He has dash 2A throw. That doesn't hit, but if you dash into someone, sorry, the second hit will be close enough for you to be able to throw them. Same thing with with uh, 5A jump, 5A throw. You have to dash into them to get that to hit. Uh, also 2A, 5A throw works. So those are your TRMs. But remember that TRMs do a lot less damage. They are easy to take if they don't get TRMs and it's just a bad time if you get tagged. Okay, that's everything for today. I hopefully covered everything and if you have any questions just leave them in the comments below i'm pretty quick at answering next time i'll probably cover something else i'll uh, see you around